hello everyone. It's been a while, and I'm sorry about that, um, but yeah, in case you're wondering, I'm here safely in Ghana. Classes have been going on for about four weeks now, and I say classes because, well, here's the situation. The president passed away about two weeks before I arrived here in Ghana, sadly. So once I got here, there was a holiday instilled the Friday before my first day of classes, which was on Monday. So that, so that happened, and then that just postponed everything the next coming week because no one was prepared for any classes or anything. So my first week, which I, when I was supposed to have classes, didn't happen. And then it kind of slowed everything else down as well. My favorite part of Ghana is the people. No! <laughs> Everyone's so friendly and interesting and like it's just way different than America. Way different than anywhere I've ever been. Um, if you if you need help with anything you can ask a Nan, they will help you. Or they'll give you some advice. Or or they'll kindly turn you down. But they're all very, very friendly. I've been learning a little bit of the local language. The official language is English, so I'm pretty set on the language, but there is a local language called Tree, and I've been taking a class with the other Americans in my study abroad group here that we've been just trying to learn Tree through the, a class here on campus at the University of Ghana, Ligon. And it's been going well. Oh, yeah, oh, I won't show you my skills at this moment because I should polish up a little bit. I know how to say thank you, Madasi, but that's all I got at the moment. For this post, I will let you know about three amazing things that I've done so far. Um, and I'll start out with going to Lee Falls. Um, this was a trip that me and about five other study abroad students planned and voyaged out by ourselves. So we took about a four hour drive to this place in Ghana um, called Ho, H-O, and of course to get there we take trochos, they're pretty much vans that, they're, I mean it's cheap transportation, they're vans and they're not the most comfortable and you're pretty packed in there, there's probably at least 20 people in one van, but um, hey you gotta do it, and it's cheap so. It took like a four hour ride to Ho, and this was a weekend trip. So we got there, we got settled in in the hotel, and then the next day we went for a two hour hike across beautiful hills. I would, I would say they're mountains, but of course I'm from Minnesota, Iowa, so hills, hills. We took a two hour hike to see these wonderful waterfalls. They're beautiful. We had a tour guide that showed us the way. Okay. Kevin Corey Long doing big things. I made it, guys. It wasn't an easy hike, but I loved it. We saw, we saw the waterfalls and went swimming underneath in the pool where it all collected. And I, it was amazing. Beaver Nation. Beaver Nation represents.